Welcome to Fight Cancer Global's informational video series. Our aim is to empower individuals with knowledge and resources to combat cancer. Today's video will explore risk factors for cervical cancer, offering valuable insights and actionable steps to aid you and your family in the fight against cancer. Cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer in women globally, with nearly 600,000 new cases diagnosed each year. By understanding the risk factors, we can empower ourselves to take preventive measures and reduce the risk of developing this disease. Let's dive into the main risk factors associated with cervical cancer. Human papillomavirus HPV, infection, the most significant risk factor for cervical cancer is infection with certain types of HPV, a group of viruses that can be transmitted through sexual contact. Persistent infection with high-risk HPV types, such as HPV-16 and HPV-18, can lead to cellular changes in the cervix that may eventually develop into cancer. Smoking doubles the risk of developing cervical cancer. Harmful chemicals found in tobacco can damage the cells in the cervix, making them more susceptible to HPV infection. Weakened immune system, women with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV AIDS or organ transplant recipients taking immunosuppressive medications, are more likely to develop cervical cancer due to a reduced ability to fight off HPV infections. Long-term use of oral contraceptives, women who use oral contraceptives for 5 years or more have a slightly increased risk of cervical cancer. This risk decreases once the uses of birth control pills are stopped. Women who have had 3 or more full-term pregnancies have an increased risk of developing cervical cancer. The exact reason for this is unclear, but it may be related to hormonal changes during pregnancy that make the cervix more susceptible to HPV infection. Early sexual activity in multiple sexual partners, engaging in sexual activity at a young age or having multiple sexual partners increases the likelihood of exposure to HPV and, subsequently, the risk of developing cervical cancer. Family history of cervical cancer, women with a close relative who had cervical cancer are at an increased risk of developing the disease, suggesting a possible genetic component. Women with limited access to healthcare, including cervical cancer screening and vaccination, are at a higher risk of developing the disease due to a lack of early detection and prevention. In conclusion, understanding and addressing the risk factors associated with cervical cancer is crucial for prevention and early detection. By raising awareness about these risks, we can empower individuals to make informed decisions about their health and reduce the burden of cervical cancer worldwide. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this presentation has provided valuable insights into the risk factors associated with cervical cancer. Thank you for viewing this informational video brought to you by Fight Cancer Global. For additional content and support, you can visit our website at www.fightcancerglobal.org, where you will discover a great many resources as well as a supportive community that knows your cancer journey. Let us join forces and make a meaningful impact in the fight against cancer.